This video was brought to you by Technically Not a Technician, and in today's video we'll be speaking about Golden Axe, Revenge of the Death Adder. Sega's 1992 arcade release, Golden Axe, The Revenge of Death Adder, is a variant of the original Golden Axe. It's a follow-up to the first Golden Axe, so you can expect the same hack and slash gameplay from it, with some nice upgrades thrown in. Revenge of the Death Adder uses the System32 arcade board, allowing for higher resolution visuals, more playable characters, and an increase from two to four players at once. None of the three protagonists from the original game return, but four new heroes do, and they must work together to take down the evil Death Adder over a variety of levels. In opposed to the original Golden Axe, which was ported to many home consoles, Revenge of the Death Adder was only available in arcades. Instead, Sega released Golden Axe 2 for the Genesis. Not until 2020 did Arcade 1-Up and the Astro City Mini release home versions of Golden Axe, Revenge of Death Adder. Goa, a giant, Stern Blade, a barbarian, Dora, a Kentorite, and Tiny Tricks, a little elf kid with a pitchfork, are the playable characters. While none of the original game's characters are playable, Gilius Thunderhead returns to ride on Goa's back and cast magic spells between them as Goa handles the bulk of the battle. In this rematch, Death Adder is the primary antagonist. Combo maneuvers can be completed on a single adversary by multiple players working together. Two, three, or even four players might jump in at once, depending on the version of the cabinet you're playing on. It's not simply that there are now alternative storylines, the magic has been tweaked as well. Although the magic spells may still be discovered in the traditional Golden Axe pots, their effectiveness is not increased with more pots gathered and instead depends on having a certain minimum quantity of pots. Tiny Tricks, the little elf child develops apple trees that produce fruit that replenishes health, making the Revenge of Death Adder the only Golden Axe game in which one of the magical attacks is not offensive. At two separate three-way intersections, the players are free to go in any direction. Depending on the game's version, the unselected pathways are either completely ignored or must be traversed at a later time. Game Machine said that Golden Axe, the Revenge of Death Adder was the third most popular table arcade unit in Japan during the month of November 1992. The video game was named one of the 25 best beat them ups of all time by Time Extension in 2023. They said it was the Golden Axe series' greatest installment. I also feel like saying that playing as Goa, a giant, with Gilea's Thunderhead, riding on his back kind of makes me feel like Master Blaster from Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. I want to thank you for checking out my video. I hope you've enjoyed it, and found it informative. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. These are all small clicks for you, but it helps this channel grow, and means a lot. Thank you.